So uh, I came across this this clip and um, I, I just I don't know if I should laugh or if I should be sad. Just 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 listen to this. In the stories, the Northern Province Youth Wing has demanded that the Inspector General of Police directs the police to arrest the Northwestern Province youths that belong to the UPND that showered unpalatables to former President Edgar Lungu. Northern Province Information and Publicity Secretary Charles Kachishi says he went to report the said youths at Kasama Central Police Station, but the officers declined to write his complaint by telling him that it is not acceptable by law to report someone not in one's close proximity. Uh, it is with our greatest concern and sadness over uh, the operations of the Zambia police, where we have seen uh, Moses Kolala on social media who has been uh, issuing threats to the former president threats of killing him and uh, threats of insults insults towards the former head of state mr edika chagwalungo this man is based in the uh, northwestern province he has been threatening to kill the president threatening to uh, ways which I can't even mention on social media because I'm a background Zukonafuma Taire Suminisha Ukulanda Mashuya Riaudomuntu Arandire So we are calling up on the police, Zambia police because Munia Zuru is under detention he has been arrested for just issuing a very simple complaint Uko waka pokola, but very biased. Muku shita apply law. Munya Zuru has been arrested. Why me has been arrested and he has been transferred to Northwestern Province? Rafael Nakachinda was arrested. The report was made from Sorwezi. That the equally complainant. Baikataba na kachinda, babashitana transfer ku Northwestern Province. Chirufia Tayali was arrested in the same manner and transferred to a district where a UPND cadre reported Chirufia Tayali. I for one have reported Moses Kolala. I went at Kasama Central Police to go and make an official complaint over the insults which Kolala made towards the former Republican president. From morning, Kuriwa Kapokorabo Naiswara Ko report. Barenji wa fokuti ya yotu ala mieva nga kuisa muise mmoni ya wakaramba muise mpange official complaint. Up to now, from 06, this is now 16 hours. Baka pokoraba chimpela namba Na bale kano kwa suka phone yandi I've denied access To officially Lodge a complaint against Moses Kolala Who is threatening to kill the Republican Former President Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu The life of Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu is at stake We don't know what will happen this evening Tomorrow or the other day Baka pokola Nifunde nishimulebo mbele ya mchalo cha Zambia I'm calling upon the Inspector General of Police To swiftly, to immediately come in and arrest Kolala Moses Kolala Who has been issuing threats to the former Republican President Because Mr. Lungu is a national asset Is a father of the nation He needs to be protected by the law and I'm calling upon the Law Association of Zambia. Mweba ikatirila, mweba velenga mma funde. Mweba kontorole funde lea chalo chesui cha Zambia. Muntunga alufianya. I'm calling upon the Law Association of Zambia to swiftly come in and make a very, a very, very, very big statement. Is, is there such a law that a Muntunga Valley group, you can't, report them to the police like when 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 did when did that when did such a law come into existence please help me because 
these people in question you know they are uh, the people in question they are they are on record they are on camera like they said some things that are very much unacceptable they issued insults and they issued they even issued death threats so maybe maybe for some of you that did not see the clip you know it it might look easy just you know me personally i can't even say exactly what they said because chaffin i can't even say it so maybe just let's listen to the clip so that you hear for yourselves what those guys really said but what is you you belong to a certain political party on ethnicity is that what Rungu thinks he can take us back to? Who circumcise him? Yes. We are appealing to government if there is opportunity for Rungu to come to Northwest and please do it quick. Yes. Bring him here. Mm. Yeah. Bring him here. So that we teach him a lesson. Yes. And you remember the time his mother cried when giving birth to him. Yes. We cannot be doing things like uh, cry babies in a country. Who is Rungu? Who does he think he is? He, does he want Zambia? Does he want Zambia? Please, we ask Mr. Rungu to consider himself as a statesman or face proper circumcision that he has never witnessed before. He will see us. And to the youths in Lusaka, we are appealing to you colleagues. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. If you don't have money, power there, tell us we come. Yes. As a province, we are here very much ready yes. to coordinate and bring the youth there in Lusaka. So that we teach that thug a lesson. You cannot belong to a party of a behavior and is busy calling himself as a serpent. Mm. You can be a serpent, but there are egos in this country. We are able to grab you off from the ground and take you in the high sky. We fight from there. <laughs> Rungu, 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 wherever you are as you are watching this, this is Kokela Moses. I understand very well where you want to go. If you want to die from the hands of President Aga in the Ishirema, Please, spare Aga in the issue not to kill you. Allow us to kill you. Allow us to kill you so that we slaughter you. Thank you so much, Chair. Okay, thank you so much. And the thing is that I'm not just saying this because the person in question is Nwa ECL. I would say it either way, even if it was in the shoes, in maybe in Nwa HH, maybe in Nwa Garin Combo, Nwa Chimbakam, whoever was going to be the victim in this case, I would still speak on that person's behalf because what this guy is said is not right but ECO is a former head of state he was once uh, the commander of armed forces he used to call all the shots and um, maybe there are certain there are certain things he did that we might not agree with but it doesn't give these guys the right to say what they said and issuing death threats is something that you can report to the police if somebody issues a death threat you can e report that case to the police and the police will investigate the matter and in most cases the person that issued death threats must be summoned or we've seen this even happening like our opposition we saw just when the opposition when they say something they are easily summoned like in the previous video i even said talked about this the issue of being one-sided but police being one-sided but police you have to be packed when, when, when my opposition were under something, like when it comes to hate speech, whatever, I'm the first person who wants to see them. But arrest them, you know, make sure Bab stand up here before the courts of law. But if the same thing happens, ruling party, if they say something, if you have about hate speech or issuing death threats, or necessarily because we've seen some people have been jailed over insults. Navena, do the same. Because if you don't act both Iran can cause COVID. Nishnumba, you are going to, to start creating a, a um, situation here where the last number is a ticking time bomb. We are not going to be a time bomb. The last number is a lot of violence as a result because some people who start feeling they are, they are not being heard. Because just think about this. We want to take the step to go to the police, meaning he wants you, the police, to handle it. But the police, you've just like mwaka na entire to handle this issue because nga mwaka na when did such a law start to exist that you abantu nga bali abengi in state mri amba state report nkuiso when did that start and these people are not like they want to abai because these are well known people they are even there on camera but why can't you summon them eh? i know like there was an incident what happened uh, idea amaka does when they insulted to ICO pa pa premises yaba dek Mr. Moritata apologized to ECO 
or for that incident yamaka does i mean yeah an apology it is good that he apologized but you know to show that indeed it came from the bottom of their hearts they 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 don't just have to say it they have to act so in this case for us to see at okay uh, the rule of law is being like you know being upheld we have to see that the tamfino um, was selective justice so i think the police they have to work on on these things and i like i i also said um e channel you know i could post more frequently so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that we are missing i'm up this like i said before and they got my issues could you be channel so that's why you know my jamie rocks upload to the new channel so conquer new po you know uh make sure you subscribe thank you